Well, hello, I was just looking at this piece of cottonwood bark. It's, uh, I don't know, it's two and a half inches thick and fairly wide and, and, and long. It's 15, 16 inches long and uh, has a peculiar shape to it, but I have an idea there's something in there. So let's get started and see what comes out. Sometimes you have a little few bits and pieces that the river's giving you, giving you here. And uh, these have, I do spray these for, with a little insecticide, so I never get any bugs out of them. But you never can tell. Uh, let's just uh, do a little cleanup ahead of time before we start drawing on these. And uh, that's always a good idea. So we can see what we're going to get. Now let's see what we can uh, get out of that. Uh, we've uh, broke off several pieces, but uh, the thin pieces and uh, didn't sacrifice a whole lot, but best to have them come off now before we get to carving. So what this is going to be actually, a little village, like a little fairy village. And what we're going to have today is... What you want to do first is get the outlines of your houses. There's one, and there's a little bit bigger, and there's a little smaller. Now, what we'll do with them depends now. Now, I see a little lean through right here, side of this house, and then it'll kind of come out like that. And then we'll have maybe another little another little room back here we'll be back a little bit further he'll kind of set up like that and then this room this room right here the main part of the house is going to stick out the door is going to be right there as you can see uh, the door proportionate would be let's make them a little round door like that and we'll probably have a little hole in there. But we might uh, we might do that and then we might have a little window up here. Also, you see it's shaping up what we have. This door is gonna be pointed, they're not gonna be the same. Pointed at the top. Probably have a rectangle in there with the door knob. Now what we see here is we could yet have a have a have a little room here on the side. We come out too far, but we could come out right to here and have a room that kind of wraps around there. And uh, whether or not so plain and. Something like that. 
Now, down here, we're going to have a smaller door with a smaller house. It's going to have a room back there in the back. It's also going to be a little room. It will be, uh, you'll see the outline here of the house with the room behind it. Now, it's going to have a small door, a small rounded door, and uh, typical of having a, a window up here. So, there's our three houses. We're going to work on them just for a little bit. Now let's take a look and see how these are beginning to shape up. Before we do any details to this, uh, we're going to come down. You see these roofs kind of come out at a whimsical angle, but he has he also has a little room on the side of this one, and also on the side of this one, and his chimney wraps out to show that on both sides. This chimney here comes out just to shelter just a little bit and this one the roof line is in the back there to cover this little little side building he has on there so just use your imagination when you do these let the uh, uh, wood give you what it's got and kind of work with that and just show you what it looked like so far and when I, when I, while I'm stopped I, I do my uh, do some more marking so uh, we know what to do when we get started again so let's get started and continue on here and try to get this thing finished someday well I almost forgot got a new mask What do you think? Let me know in your comments. You think that's uh, a little better than just a regular face mask? And I tell you, the other one was a little bulky, and this one fits better. And when I have it on, it don't uh, uh, fog up my glasses. So I like it much, much better. Okay, let's get to going now.
I thought I'd break the, mon break the monotony and kind of let you see what was going on here. First, it's best to take your magic marker like I did and make it a little bit. You don't have to follow the exact pattern that you marked on. Uh, the wood will chip off and it will break off and just keep on going deeper than when it does that. And uh, we'll see later what the effect was. And you'll see this chunk and the piece broke out right here, pretty much. I just went deeper right in there, around that, where it broke out at, and we'll see uh, how it turns out. But that will turn out okay. Uh, we've got this carving all the way up this side here to this house, and we're gonna carve, uh, most of this will be uh, stoned out, right through here and right through here, a lot of it. And uh, we'll probably leave this piece hanging down here because we've got some rocky cliff over it. But anyway, we'll, we'll do a little bit more around here. And a uh, little bit, we just about got what we want over here. But uh, we got to finish that up. And then uh, once we get the shellac or urethane or something on it, this is really going to pop out. <coughs> the door has a little more, see it has a little more, uh, you know, where we at, right here. And it has a little more of a definition to it now, as well as the window frame. You can see it coming around here. The door, if I can get the light just right, you can see the door frame now. And uh, anyway, a little bit of time, we get there. So bear with me. So I've changed bits now and uh, got to sort of look at it's a uh, real aggressive from uh, cuts all but it's a more of a pointed cone like shape and I believe that's what we need to finish out these uh, stones while we're working at it. Let's see what that'll do. good time to stop now and uh, kind of take a look at what we've done. We've got the stone pretty well done. You see we leave some rocky cliffs here on the side. Uh, it's kind of on the mountain side. We have a cliff overhang here and we're going to leave that. But for now, next what I'm going to do is trim this all out here for the lights. Maybe put in the lights would be a good part too. Uh, we'll see, because these uh, things can get a little lengthy. But what do you think so far?
going to take a break again and, and see we got the shingles on the roofs at the outlines there and uh, we're going to show up until we get the wood burner out we'll put some accents to it and you'll really be able to make it pop but you can see a little bit of the outline there I have to cut this out now I haven't done this yet in the back in the preparation for the lights uh, see real quick what I do there I put the little outline around each one of these and uh, we'll get started from that and go from there about what I'm doing here now <clears throat> you can see we did some uh, carving way up here and I got a door there's a little little, uh, little, elf, a little fairy lives right in there and he'll have a little door where he goes out and uh, but let's start down here we've got another fairy that lives right down there in that little door the door's not completed yet but he can walk around on this little ledge and he'll get on a ladder. There'll be a ladder right there that he get ready to carve. And then what he does off that ladder, he can get up and visit. We'll get to this little fairy. And uh, then this one can go around here to get to this ladder, which we're going to carve. Get to these steps and go up to this guy. But. Uh, we're good to go. We got to draw, draw these pictures out now. one 
So we have to figure out something on that. done so far I'm <clears throat> gonna use a pencil for a pointer now right here we've created a water flow that will go down and you can see it, this will be a waterfall going down here and it'll just go out over the side here <clears throat> I haven't decided yet but I think we're going to uh, put some resin in that it'd be blue resin uh, simulate the water go all the way over to the side, but uh, still a lot of work to do, so let's, uh, let's not hesitate. I'm stopping now. See, we've got some more detail now on this. I follow this, these rocks all the way down, and and it and they're starting to get some detail in them. We got all the way to the bottom here, and uh, I was working on these, 
And I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to show you here. You see there's a little. There it is. See that crack open up? A little crack. That whole front's about to fall off. And we don't need to let that happen. What we do, we get the old trusty CA glue out again. And uh, that don't affect the uh, structure or the, the thing. What it does is prevent that from happening. That CA glue soaks in there so much that uh, you don't even have to let it break off. It'll, it'll take care of itself. I, I like to get it right in there and glue the glue the thing together put it right in that crack and it soaks in so quick that it just uh, don't take long for it to to dry putting lights in and uh, for the sake of not having this video too long I've, I've got a pocket done we did that and I'll, I'll hot glue that down in there so the the face of it can still be taken off to get the, to change batteries okay and a little screw right here change the battery and uh, let's turn it on I'll turn around we'll take a look at it it's not finished, but we'll take a look at it right here. And we see that it has lights. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it like this. Now, how about that? I'm also going to take a picture of it hanging on the wall, and we'll see what it looks like there after it's finished. What I intend to do now is we will have to have <clears throat> a little, a little, uh, little balcony, a little uh, handrail right here, a little wooden handrail around here, a little wooden handrail goes all the way around here, and one up here and up here. So we have to put them a handrail because we don't want to get out here and fall off. So. When we get that, we'll continue. We'll we'll continue. But see, we won't anywhere. There's a ledge. There's going to be a little little handrail, and that will finish our project. I'm going to show you next the uh, handrail. How we do that? What are the handrails? I pick up my little scrap pieces, and you start breaking them apart. And you'll see here that uh, pretty soon we'll have a little pile uh, that will make pretty nice handrails. But you just keep working it until you get your handrails. Uh, and that's not hard to do. We'll get these uh, handrails all made up and then um, at least the post and, and uh, parts for the handrail. Okay, we have the holes drilled now. These are little post holes that we've we've drilled around where you want the post to go, and that will be a matter of pushing each one of those little posts down in there. Take a look. We've got it's kind of wacky. You don't want uh, the posts don't have to look excellent, but they have to be in their little holes. Now, see, we're getting a handrail around there. But we'll, it'll be a matter of some super glue in there. And then we will, uh, uh, we will put some little pieces around there and, and that'll be done. But what I'm going to do now is get you a close up of the finished railing on the 
little first balcony. See the railing goes all the way around and that keeps uh, our little guy from maybe falling overboard there and falling down. Right there is a good look at our little fence all the way around. So we're gonna do that here. We gotta put railing up around here and put railing up around here, put railing up around here and over here. So we don't want to have the video going all that time because you now you know how to do it. So we'll be back when I get it finished and I'll show you the finished product. We get those handrails up, we'll have this done completely. It will be ready for someone to claim, oh, I might just live there myself. I don't know, I may, I may just live there myself. I really think and I will. So let's get going and get the handrail finished.